All right, I'm undertaking a printing and painting project for miniatures that I thought was kind of cool. So I thought I would make a workflow video um, using my Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K. It's the, the this is, um, if you watch the channel, um, this is the new printer that we've recently obtained and it is the one that has a larger big plate, uh, build plate. I went up from the Elegoo Mars Pro and Pro 2 to, the, to this printer so we can print bigger things and more things. So the project that I'm going to do is I'm, I needed a bunch of small miniatures uh, that we're going to use to paint different colors for this new YouTube channel that we're starting. We have a 3D printed uh, printing minute, 3D printing miniatures or minis YouTube channel, but then I have a second like miniature and D&D related channel that's going to be printed stuff, but also non-printed stuff and painting and all this stuff. So I needed I needed um, some files to paint, and I needed identical files that were going to be small enough to be able to make a lot, so it might cost a billion dollars to print them all out. And my son, who is only seven, came up with a brilliant idea of using the statue on the on the um, with the that the that the uh, adventurer party is stealing the gems out of the eyes on the first uh, advanced Dungeons and Dragons player manual, the, the red statue. Uh, and later on, I believe he's a playable monster in one of the one of the um, supplemental modules. But we printed out a bunch of small ones because we're going to paint these all different colors. Um, and I'll explain the project later on another video. But uh, long story short using the Litchi Slicer and the Sonic Mighty 4K, I was able to fit 45 of these guys. There's one, two, three, four, five, five lines, nine each. I fit five of these guys on one print bed. It took about, a, I just have the, I'm just running the regular settings. I'm not doing zoom, uh, room settings or anything like that. I don't really want to mess with that stuff right now. But um, I printed out 45 of these guys in about just under two hours, about an hour and a half or so. And they all came out. And now they're here on my print bed, and I'm going to take them off. Uh, we're going to clean them, and then I'm going to get prep them, um, cure them, and prep them paint. But I wanted to show I filled up this print bed. Like this is all these guys, and they all not a single failure. Uh, again, we're using as always for the miniatures. I'm using Soraya Tech Fast Gray with a uh, 15 or 150 milliliters of Soraya Tech Tenacious added to give them a little more, uh, you know, a little more flex, a little more robustness, a little, a little more unbreakiness. And we're using a 45 degree angle this way off the plate and 45 degree angles from the plate to take these guys off. We're not using hard pressure, we're just using consistent pressure. I'm just going down, I'm trying to take these guys off in a line, which looks like it's working very well. Oops, bottom one I can't see. They're all kind of connected together, so I'm trying to, maybe I'll do it this way, maybe I'll go horizontally for these ones. Maybe I can get the to all the top row off or top couple rows off and then do like a nice clean sweep, if you will. Oh yeah, that's gonna be, oh dude, what did these all come off in one piece? How exciting would that be, guys? And girls and folks. Oh no, one guy flung around. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got it started, and now I just gotta kind of get all those work it back and forth again. The top, this quadrant's the most dangerous because you can jab your hand. But we've made it past the most dangerous quadrant, and now it's all gravy. Oh look at that. Oh how satisfying. How great is that when it comes off? Oh, and one almost one piece. Pretty pretty much. Like they're all tenuously connected, but look, not a single failure. Oh, that's Sonic. Mighty 4K doing us right. Ugh, oh, feeling good, going strong, look at that. I'm gonna wipe off my build plate. Um, like I said, no failures, so there shouldn't be any junk floating around here. Give it a little wipe. Put this guy back on. Lock him down for later, but that is great. Yeah, so this is, a, my son had a great idea because these, these are really cool and iconic miniatures but they wouldn't they didn't use up a lot of resin my vat was only like maybe three quarters full and as you can see the vat still has plenty of resin for another batch i'm probably going to do about i have about 200 paints that i want to make videos for or at least 200 paints that i want to get paint you know of, that of different colors i want to get painted or examples of so i'm going to have about make 200 of these so you know four or five batches and i did the math in litchi slicer and they're less than a buck or two to make these even with the, with this with, the, uh, with the fancier resin cut in with the tenacious cut in so it's good to go so we're just going to take these guys they don't exactly fit in my bucket but they will when i so this first step of course is to take them off and then put them in, in just room temperature mean green nothing special in a pickle jar um, that i got on amazon again these, these pickle jars were one of the best things i've ever bought for 3d printing there's a bunch of little things that i, I really enjoy but yeah these pickle um pickle jars make it so much easier to swish your stuff around, whether you're using, you know, the old fashioned, like, you know, rubbing alcohol or 99% IPA or the mean green heated that we're gonna use in a second. But first step, 
as always for my guys to put them in here i'm going to shake them for a minute get this sealed let me shake these guys off camera and then i'll bring them right back i'm going to i'm going to swirl them this way this way and up and down but i do it off camera so i don't shake this stuff in case this thing leaks these things are pretty liquid tight but sometimes they leak so i'm going to shake it off camera i'll be back in one minute okay one minute of vigorous shaking and swirling and shaking have elapsed nice frothy uh little pickle jar of, of minis and mean green and then we're gonna go down here to the the basement <laughs> level of my table we're gonna open up our uh ultrasonic cleaner it's been heated it's filled, it's filled with mean green i reuse the same mean green for weeks and months at a time it, it works really well uh it's heated to 50 degrees celsius which is about i think 120 um fahrenheit i'm gonna shake these guys off a bit let me move this a bit closer so it don't drip shake these guys off and the great thing about the pickle jar is i'm taking the inside pickle jar holder part and i'm putting it right into our tank right here putting the lid on dun, 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 and then getting this guy set for five minutes here we'll, we'll clean for five minutes and we'll come right back in five minutes all right kiddos five minutes has elapsed of ultrasonic cleaning gorgeousness Bring down our little tray that we used earlier. Put them over here. That's why I put the shop towel in. It doesn't have the gunk in there. I'm gonna shake these guys around. Make sure they all looks like they all sat in there pretty well. I like to move this up and down. Shake off any extra goop these guys might have stuck on them. Turn them out. Dump them in here. And then again, as always, we are done with this first bat simple grain. We don't use it again because we want to keep these guys nice and warm because we're going to use the heat to take off the supports. Um, I'm going to bring them up here to this area and we'll just gingerly and very easily take off the support. I made a couple test ones earlier to make sure that this wasn't going to be a fiasco and I'm telling you, look, the supports are coming off. Um, some people had asked because I, the uh, video on our channel, we're using this, the mat, you know, iPad screen protector between our, our uh, vat and our printing screen and people were asking about degradation of a uh, print print quality no there's none this is <laughs> the, the details in the sky I mean I made one earlier and I'll, I'll put I'll put a closer picture but you can see the guy's little teeth and everything they're just I mean it's detailed is all get out even the back the little this has little spikes on the elbows a lot of these are gonna get knocked off when I brush it right now because I don't really care about them for the painting of the project we're doing. But I mean, all the fine detail is on this guy. Uh, it's in, in taking the supports off. Like, look, the supports just came off. Like, they just peeled off. And these are medium supports on Litchi Slicer. Uh, I'm gonna put the supports on the side. I'll cure these later, but I'm just gonna get these clients cleaned off like shrimp real quick. For And look at that, look how quick the supports come off. Um, Shoot, you know what? I'm gonna use my tray. This is the cleaning tray we're gonna use for the for the alcohol. I'm gonna use this to collect these guys. There's so many, and then we'll deal with that in a second. But look, this is 45 of these guys on one print. Like this guy fell off before he even was on. 45 of these guys on one build plate. So awesome. Um, and again, just such awesome detail. The I've been using the Sonic for a couple weeks now and printed all kinds of stuff. And I just can't. I cannot stress enough what a great printer this is and how much i enjoy it um our previous printers i haven't had a bad printer yet i, I, I like you know resin printers are pretty pretty awesome across the board but yeah the, the the sonic um mighty 4k this is exactly like i said in one of our previous videos this is exactly why i bought this printer i wanted more build plate for projects like this i have 45 of these guys i have 200 of these guys i want to make and i can do them in you know in a, in a day in four or five you know five batches instead of um instead of you know in, in over many days and again we're going to start uh, printing larger stuff too like dragons and big monsters and whatnot i want to my son really wants to make a tarask and uh, um and a kraken so but look i'm just like dude it's like honestly it, like jokes aside it's like it's like peeling shrimp but but easier peeling shrimp is actually harder than this these things are just pulling right off and it's keeping all the fine detail uh god these things are great the ultrasonic cleaner also awesome highly recommend uh, and some people had asked online about the mean green. They asked if you can use simple green. As far as I know, uh, you can use in the ultrasonic cleaner, if it's heated, you can use Mr. Clean, simple green, all kinds of cleaners and household cleaners and degreasers, whatever it doesn't eat up your, um, resin. So Google it online and make sure it's not bad. But yeah, I, we've, I've used simple green in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, ultrasonic cleaner before. And as long as it's heated, yeah, you get, you get great, you get good results. I just think that mean green works a little bit better. 
and I like the smell. This is the Mean Green. I, I'm, I'm from the Orange County where I think Mean Green was founded. So I've been around Mean, or not Mean Green, Simple Green all my life. And to be honest, I'm just I'm sick of the smell of Simple Green. I much prefer the smell of Mean Green. They both smell like chemicals, you know, like sweet, you know, I don't know, some type of sweet, sweet, like fake juice that doesn't exist. That's just pure chemicals. But uh, yeah, I, pre I prefer, as weird as it is, I prefer the Mean Green smell to the Simple Green smell. So it's really maybe a smell preference as well. Again. All these guys, not a single failure. All these guys are coming out awesome. Just like, the, all like, all like, dude, all identical. Just boom, boom. And, you know, I know people that are using the more, the faster room settings these days. I, like, I don't need it. I don't really care for it because I don't want to mess, like, the default settings. I'm using the default settings and then the default settings of the, for the resin that we're using for the Soraya Fast Gray. I made ver uh, verification cards and I went up, you know, a tenth of a second and 2.7 for layer, which is people are saying, oh, it's overexposed. I think the, the 15 or 150 milliliters of Soriatech Tenacious ad is maybe what's letting that longer time take place, but I don't know. I can't tell. These things are awesome. I love them. So this is 45 things you just printed out, all really good quality. I'm gonna put them here. And then we got our, this second pickle jar is what we're gonna use. This is just water that we use. You don't change the water every time, but it's water we're gonna use. We're gonna throw these in, in this just regular tap water room temperature when we're done to rent for one final rinse. But in the meantime, these guys came out so well and they're so clean. It, this part is almost difficult because they're so small and because it, the mean green got so much of the stuff off. But what we do, final step for cleaning the minis in this process after the heated mean green, take this sports off and then this is just 99% um, rubbing alcohol. You know, you can get it anywhere, online, Target, wherever. Um, CVS, Walmart, you know, you can break into a chemical factory and steal some. Please don't do that, guys. Don't be, don't be a Batman villain for the sake of 3D printing. But again, I'm just spraying some on, toothbrushing these guys real quick. But again, these guys are so small and so clean, it just doesn't matter. I'm just gonna just barely give them a squirt and a rub, but it's really, these guys are so flat too. They've got a little bit of detail on the front. I'll fill up a little bit, but these guys are really, they're they're clean as heck. It just you can just see it. They're just they're just clean. Um, that mean green does a great job. For bigger figures or more intricate figures, yeah, you might need to get a little more mean green in there. But I'm I'm really happy with these. And again, we're gonna prime all these guys gray and print them all different colors or paint them um, paint them all different colors. So the little bit of shininess you might get in a couple pockets here and there. You could really work to get those out. But since I have 45 of these guys, you don't really have to. So I'm gonna time lapse this now. Clean all these guys off real quick and then we'll come back and talk some more for a second before we wrap this video up. All right, bingo, bingo. That's <laughs> 45 of these guys. Those are all the bases. Again, I put those to the side. I'll cure those in the UV cure or in the sun before throwing them away so they'll end up in the landfill and kill the planet. It's not a monster. Uh, so let's put those up here for now and come back to those. But now we've got these in water. They've all been sitting there for quite a while. You saw watch the fast motion. So we're going to shake these for about 30 seconds. Um, give these about 30 seconds off camera and then we'll bring them back and we'll get them out to get them ready to dry. All right, 30 seconds has elapsed. Let's put this IPA away. And now we're gonna open this up. This is just plain water again. I use the same water every time. and use it for weeks and weeks and months. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't do that super clean. We're just washing off any residual layers of mean green or acetone or anything else. Get them clean and ready to dry. Now we're gonna take them. This is a, um, this is a beautiful piece of Tupperware. I got it at the dollar store. I spray painted it, it uh, you know, gray. So it's, it's, it's air, um, light tight. I'm just plain rust -Oleum primer, gray primer from uh, Home Depot. Put a shop towel in there, empty our dudes in there, make sure they're all out. Close this up, seal it for next time, boom. Now, we just move these guys around a little bit and just get them spread out. Cool, where they're not touching. That's good, it doesn't have to be perfect. There's so many of these guys, they're gonna be fine. I was really surprised, if you notice the video, I didn't scrub them as much with the alcohol and toothbrush as I usually do because they're so small and most mostly so flat and the detail on these are so good that Mean Green and the Ultrasonic Bath really took off 
everything pretty much. So they're good to go. I'm gonna put these guys covered um, like this to keep out light, but let air flow through for 24 hours, or actually overnight probably. And then I'm gonna cure these things tomorrow and then we'll prime them and then we'll be able to start uh, painting them for our upcoming, upcoming project. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing me make 45 little dudes at one time because uh, it was super exciting to take them off the build plate and see that they all came out. So I'm excited to make more.